Hello everyone, this is Saurabh and I welcome you to my channel Cosmic Life and friends I am back again with another video on Vedic Astrology and the topic that I have chosen today is when debilitated planets give good results and the reason for choosing this topic like any other topic on my channel is the fact that I want to teach you something or I want to give you information about something which can make you fall in love with this topic of astrology so I will try to present this topic in a manner which is very easy to understand and uh, so that you can go back and apply whatever you learn here in your own charts without having the need to you know go and ask an astrologer because many times what happens is when you look at a video on youtube and we see that you know i have a particular planet which is debilitated in my chart then we really become tensed now a debilitated planet is supposed to give us certain you know tension or worry but not in this way right i mean it shouldn't be like you you read about it somewhere and then you, you know you are worried that okay it is going to give me bad results and i am not ever going to get a good result because my venus is let's say debilitated then you know i will never have a good woman in my life or i will never have money those kind of things uh, we will try to change that whole idea with this video but before we actually begin with the presentation I would like to tell you the topics that we can we are going to cover in this video so that you can decide whether you want to watch it or you don't want to watch it because at the end of the day I don't want to waste your time and I want to give you something which is useful for you. So and also you know it also helps me keep my thoughts in a systematic manner and I know exactly what I want to talk about what are the things that I want to cover and so that I know I do not miss out on something and at the end of the day you get something valuable out of you know spending your time. In watching my channel so anyways things that we are going to cover in this video today are myths and truths about debilitated planets obviously there are lots and lots of myths about these planets but we will only focus on some of the commonly accepted myths then if people actually talk about debilitated planets so much then there are bound to be certain generic results which are applicable to these planets so we will look at that as well the next thing we will look at is if let's say planet a is debilitated and planet B is debilitated, then are do they behave in the same manner, or is there any certain differentiating factor which ensures that the results that these planets give is different? So we will look at that also under the heading differentiating debilitation of various planets. Then we will look at cancellation of debilitation. Most likely, if there is a planet which is debilitated in your chart, most likely it is cancelled. The debilitation is cancelled. Okay, so we will look at that as well, like under what circumstances that happen, we will look at that. Then the next thing we look at is even better and that is Niche Bhang Rajyog. This is one kind of Rajyog that has the potential to change your life. And believe me, if you have this yoga in your chart and if it gets activated, you know, when the particular time period arrives, it will change your life. It will change a lot about your life. And uh, so in this video itself, we will try to look at how this works and we'll also look at some of the examples so that you can actually use it in predictive astrology. One more thing, cancellation of debilitation and Niche Bhang Raj Yoga are two different things and that is why I have chosen them in two different headings and many times you know I have seen videos on YouTube where people talk about the fact that cancellation and Niche Bhang Raj Yoga they are same but that is not true. So we will try to differentiate between that as well. So friends if you are new to my channel, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please hit that like button, please share it with your friends or anyone who is interested in astrology so that it will give me the necessary encouragement that I need in order to continue making videos. And my endeavor is to make these videos in a manner which you can easily understand so that it enhances your astrology knowledge. And also at the end of the day, my idea is the way I have fallen in love with this subject. I want you also to feel the exact same emotion that I have for this subject. So. I will try to do that but you know for that obviously I need your support so please subscribe to my channel please like this video please share it of course if you like it you know I'm not making it a mandatory thing for you but of course if you like it please 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 do that so anyways let us begin with the actual topic that we are going to discuss today so let us start with myths and truths about debilitated planets so one of the commonly accepted thing is that because debilitated planets are weak they will give bad results okay and more so when people say that because they lack strength so whatever house they sit in they will destroy the result of that house now the reason i call it a myth is because one single planet 
cannot determine the result of a house. A planet has its own strength and yes when it is debilitated it lacks certain degree of strength but strength is not only calculated based on debilitation or exaltation of a planet. There are different types of strength. Okay, So if you have a debilitated planet in a house, yes for that particular house the planet on its own cannot give result. Right? It will lack the necessary will to give result. However, let's say there are other planets in the chart which have got strength. Then you can still expect good results from that particular house in your chart. More so, you know, when we see that we have a debilitated planet in the seventh house, which is the house of marriage, I have seen people really freak out. Oh, oh, oh you know, I have a debilitated planet in my seventh house. Does that mean, you know, I will never have a good married life? If that would have been the case, you know, astrology would have been super easy to understand. You need to understand that any house will have a karka, which is called a significator in astrology. Then wherever the debilitated planet is sitting, that house will have a lord. Let's say, you know, you, you have Mars in the seventh house in the sign of cancer. So Mars is debilitated in the sign of cancer. But let us say in this case, moon is aspecting the seventh house from the ascendant. Okay. So the point is that the moon is trying to look at its own house and so it will try to give good results. The moon need not be in the first house and aspect the seventh house. It could even be in a very good condition. You know, it could be exalted or it could be in a friendly sign. Even in that case, you will still get good results from the seventh house. Or let's say Venus is well placed in your chart. Even in that case, you will get good results from the seventh house. Because Venus is a significator of the seventh house. You could look at the seventh house in the Navamsha and still expect good results. So the point I'm trying to make is one single planet does not determine the overall result that you're going to get from any house. Okay, so please keep that in mind. So gives bad results. No, not true. What it will give you though is it will always keep you on your toes. The environment around you will be stressful. You will actually have to work extremely hard whenever you are running the Dasha, Antar Dasha of a debilitated planet. Things will not be easy around you. Whether you will get good results out of it or bad results out of, out of it, we will look at it later in the presentation, but it will keep you on your toes. You will be under a lot of stress. There will be pressure around you. You will be in a situation where there is no way out. There is no escape route. You know, finally, God has put you in a situation where you need to take action, where you will have to work hard. So that it, that is what it will do. On the contrary, I have mentioned here that a debilitated planet can give huge wealth and believe me, this is true. If there is a debilitated planet in the 11th house from your Ardha Lagna, it can give you lots and lots of money. Even if there is an exalted planet, it will also give you a lot of money. But debilitated planet do have this capability to give you the same amount of milk as you will get from an exalted planet. Now, I don't know the reason for that, but this is something that works. And you can apply it in your own chart. Just look at whatever the signification of that plant in the 11th house from Arudha Lagna is. And that plant will give you lots and lots of wealth during its time period. In fact, we can extend this concept to the second house and the 11th house in your Rashi chart. So whatever your Rashi chart is, in that, if there is a debilitated planet in the second house or the 11th house, even then you can expect that it will give you good amount of wealth. But... From the Ardha Lagna, if there is a planet in the 11th house, it will definitely give you very good results and it will definitely give you lots and lots of money. Let's move on and let us talk about the effects of debilitation. So the fact is, if people actually talk so much about debilitated planets, there must be some merit to it, right? Like, it's not like people are simply fools that they are talking about it. There must be certain, certain merit to it. So what are those generic results, you know, which you can expect in case you have a debilitated planet? Now, while you are at this stage in uh, the video, let's say, you know, you see that, okay, some of these are not working for you, then please understand it is likely that the planet plant's debilitation is cancelled in your case. And so I would request you to stay till the end of the video and you will understand exactly why you may not be seeing these kind of results. Okay. So let's say if sun is debilitated in your chart, then you will lack self-confidence because sun is a planet that gives us self-confidence. And uh, you will, you know, find it difficult to get recognition for whatever you are doing at your workplace or even in, you know, if you are a young kid and you are living with your family, you will often find yourself in a situation where you are doing something and somebody else is getting a credit for that. Okay. Then since sun is also the planet of focus and ambition, 
so that is also something that will be missing from your life if sun is debilitated in your chart when is sun debilitated it is debilitated when it is in the sign of libra so this is something that you need to keep in mind if sun is debilitated in your chart you will you are most likely to see these results obviously there are many other results of debilitated sun but i have tried to you know just put some of the important ones here then what about moon so since moon actually represents our emotional capabilities so if moon is in the sign of scorpio which anyways is the sign of fears and you know uh, transformation and things like that we do not really want in our lives uh, and sudden transformations to be honest so whenever moon is in the sign of scorpio where it is debilitated then you will see that you are not good at handling emotional ups and downs in life and since moon is also the planet of nutrition so you may have poor health due to lack of nutrition you may not be able to arrive at a conclusion or a decision in your life very easily and you will have unnecessary fears you will worry about things which are never going to happen but and you will constantly be worried about something or the other and you will not be able to trust people easily so some of these results you will see if you have moon which is debilitated in your chart next mars honestly speaking in my experience i have not come across anyone having mars debilitated and getting bad results out of it and there could be many reasons for that but one of the reasons that i believe is that mars when it is in the sign of cancer it is in a friendly sign right it is in the sign of its friend moon and that is why i have not seen mars in cancer giving any bad results to people yes they may lack uh, that desire to take action in life or that fighting spirit at times which can be a shortcoming but again mars in cancer is actually not a bad position it is a good position to have talking about jupiter okay so jupiter represents our teachers it represents the advice or the counseling that we get from others so let's say somebody has a debilitated jupiter then they will find it difficult to stick to the advice that they will get from others so they'll come to you they'll seek advice from you but then they will actually not go and apply that so these people you will see they will even have this tendency to go from one counselor to other counselor one astrologer to other astrologer because they lack that conviction that whatever other person is telling them is actually going to work for them okay and then in many cases you will see that we all have certain ethical and moral values on which we uh, take actions in our life based on based on those moral and ethical values so if you have a debilitated jupiter then that foundation is not strong okay you do not believe in your own principles that you have set for yourself in life so that is another effect you will see with debilitated jupiter third thing is they will not be able to differentiate between good and bad okay so many times they will feel that okay if i am doing this there is nothing wrong with it you know and they will actually try to justify that and you while you may believe that you know this is something that they are doing on purpose but no they actually believe that you know what they are doing is the right thing to do and so they can be misunderstood in those circumstances but uh, a debilitated jupiter will show these kind of effects in a person's chart moving on let us talk about saturn so let's say if saturn is in the sign of aries where it is debilitated then the person will lack patience because saturn is the sign of perseverance patience you know hard work and the reason for that is see saturn is a very cold planet okay and when you put it in an environment like aries which is all about the sign the fiery sign of mars the that extreme energy of mars the problem is saturn is not very comfortable in this sign and that is why and aries is also the sign of quick action you know you want to do things in a very fast manner you know you do not want to really wait for the results here you want quick action here and so whenever saturn is placed here they do not go along well and that is why you will lack patience you will also lack that ability to work hard without really worrying about the results and that is why it is important for these kind of people let's say if they are doing something then it is important for them to have small milestone so that you know once they reach that milestone they feel that you know at least they have that motivation to continue otherwise you know they can very easily lose focus and they can make some very erratic decisions in life especially when it comes to their job it it can be a bad position then moving on to mercury if somebody has a debilitated mercury in their chart then early on in their life they will not be good at communicating with others they may not be able to understand what is the right thing to say to somebody when i say bad communication that is what i mean you know you may have certain idea in your mind but you may not be able to communicate it to others you may not be able to find the right words or you may not be able to find the right right emotions to communicate whatever you want to say so that will definitely be prevalent in this kind of people then 
okay even though this is a very strong statement but yeah it because mercury is one planet you know which is about the practical abilities that we have and that is why these people can at times make very stupid decisions decisions in life and they will not even realize it okay and the next thing is that whenever they are trying to negotiate and trying to get into a situation where they can have some advantage they will actually end up being on the losing side because they are not good at negotiating okay so these are some of the effects of debilitated mercury then finally the last plant is venus and whenever venus is debilitated in a person's chart see venus is the planet of the choices that we make in life okay so if venus is debilitated in your chart then it means at certain stages in your life especially in your relationship especially okay it may not be limited to your relationship but especially in your relationship you will make wrong choices in life okay you may take a path in life which you feel is good for now okay but in the long run it will not give you good results and you are bound to make certain choices like that in your life okay even in your relationship you may come across a woman um uh, or in case of a woman it could be a man who will bring loss or troubles in life who will actually give you a lot of stress so that is also going to happen and also whenever venus is debilitated i have seen people they care a lot about how they look and they will put all kind of makeup in case of guys you know they will try to wear nice clothes or you know have different kind of hairstyles to look good so the idea will be that on the outer beauty not so much on the inner beauty so these are some of the effects of debilitated planet in a native chart now if you have not seen this results in your own chart even though you have some of these planets as debilitated then it could be because either the debilitation has been cancelled or there is a niche bhangraj yog which we will look at at a later point in this same video moving on so let's say we have saturn debilitated we have sun debilitated or mars is debilitated do they give similar kind of results is mars debilitated as bad as saturn being debilitated so we need to understand that when mars is debilitated it is still in the sign of a friend mars is debilitated in the sign of cancer which is ruled by moon and moon is a friend to mars so even though it is debilitated it is still has certain kind of strength coming from the fact that it is placed in a friendly planet sign whereas in case of saturn because saturn is in the sign of mars where it is not comfortable at all so a debilitated saturn is much worse than debilitated mars so this is another thing that we need to take into consideration you can apply the same principle when venus is debilitated venus is debilitated in the sign of mercury and they are friends with each other so even a debilitated venus is not as bad as let's say a debilitated sun because sun is debilitated in the sign of libra which is ruled by venus and they don't get along you know that well with each other so that is also important to keep in mind okay and another thing that you need to keep in mind is the quality of the sign let's say moon is debilitated in the sign of scorpio now that position is not at all good for the moon the reason being it is the planet is sign of change and transformation sudden events fears and moon is a very soft planet and how do you expect it to survive in such an environment so the quality of the sign and also the relationship between planets need to be taken into consideration whenever we are looking at debilitated planet finally i would like to repeat a debilitated mars is not as bad as a debilitated saturn or a debilitated sun okay a debilitated venus is not that bad believe me it's not as bad you know as people actually try to make it to be okay moving on now we are going to talk about cancellation of debilitation okay so under what circumstances the a planet which is originally debilitated in your chart will end up not being debilitated in other words the debilitation of the planet has been cancelled so we will look at those factors so let's say in your rashi chart mercury is debilitated which means mercury is in the sign of pisces right in the sign of pisces which is ruled by jupiter mercury is debilitated however it is exalted in the navamsa chart okay so in this case in the rashi chart mercury is in the sign of pisces however in the navamsa chart mercury is in the sign of virgo sign 6 so because it is exalted in the navamsa chart that is why we will say that the mercury's debilitation has been cancelled it will not give you the same bad results which you were expecting however 
in your childhood you will see these results okay you will definitely see the results that we you know we have spoken about but what will happen whenever your navamsha will be activated and let me tell here that you know it is not true when people say that navamsha is activated only after marriage or you know in the second half of life those things are not true it actually depends upon your ninth house which leads to the activation of navamsha and whenever the navamsha chart get chart gets activated in your case after that the mercury's debilitation will be cancelled okay the next thing is the debilitated planet is in its own sign in the navamsha chart okay so the same example that we took of mercury let's say mercury is debilitated in your rashi chart but in the navamsha chart it is in the sign of virgo or gemini both the signs which are ruled by mercury then also you could say that the debilitation of mercury has been cancelled similarly if we apply this principle to debilitation of mars then mars in your rashi chart could be in the sign of cancer and in the navamsha chart let's say it is in the sign of aries or scorpio which are its own sign then we will say that mars is no more debilitated even it could be in the sign of capricorn and we will still say the same thing because capricorn is the exaltation sign of mars okay so two conditions here we know when we talk about navamsha chart the planet should be in its own sign or it should be in the exaltation sign and we will say that the debilitation has been cancelled next thing is let's say in your rashi chart mercury is debilitated however it is with an exalted planet so if mercury is debilitated in the sign of pisces what is the planet which is exalted in the sign of pisces it is venus right so in this case mercury and venus let's say are together in your chart in the sign of pisces we will again say that the debilitation of mercury has been cancelled similarly you can apply this result for other planets also so if mars is debilitated in the sign of cancer we could say that if jupiter is also sitting with mars in the same sign of sign of cancer then the debilitation of mars has been cancelled okay so please keep these rules in mind now how do you apply it in chart so in case of mercury if the debilitation has been cancelled by venus you could say that okay once the person will get married then whatever bad results they were getting because of mercury those will be diminished or the, those results will be cancelled and instead they will start getting some decent or good results from mercury in case of jupiter and mars if mars is debilitated and jupiter is also sitting with it you could say that okay once the person starts having higher knowledge or goes for higher education or has a spiritual teacher in life or a spiritual guide then the debilitation of mars will be cancelled okay so we are trying to use the karakatwas or the significations of the planet which is causing the cancellation of debilitation in order to apply these results got my point so this is about when the debilitated planet is with an exalted planet okay even otherwise let's say a debilitated planet is with a planet in its own sign in that case also because the planet the other planet is in its own sign and it will give the debilitated planet the necessary strength required for the cancellation of debilitation even in such cases we will say that the debilitation has been cancelled next case is when the debilitated planet is involved in an exchange with another planet now what is exchange exchange is when let's say one planet is in the sign of some other planet and that other planet is in the sign of, of the first planet so let's say you have two planets a and b planet a is in the sign of planet b and planet b is in the sign of planet a we call it an exchange so if a debilitated planet is involved in an exchange even in that case debilitation is cancelled one example would be mars is in the sign of cancer and moon is in the sign of scorpio yes in this case you will get some bad results on the account of the fact that moon is in the sign of scorpio but because there is an exchange the results will not be that bad okay on the other hand let's say jupiter is in the sign of capricorn where it is debilitated and saturn is in the sign of pisces which is the sign of owned by jupiter even in this case there is an exchange between jupiter and saturn so the debilitation of jupiter in this case has been cancelled so whenever there is an exchange between two planets sign of change then also debilitation is cancelled okay next example let's say uh, jupiter is in the sign of capricorn where it is debilitated and saturn is the sign of scorpio so saturn from its third aspect we look at the sign of capricorn so saturn because it rules that sign right it rules the sign of capricorn it will try to you know reduce the bad results that could have been obtained on account of jupiter being placed in the sign of capricorn so saturn will give the necessary strength that is required so whenever the 
the planet which is debilitated is aspected by the lord of the sign then also debilitation gets cancelled okay as i gave the example saturn from the sign of scorpio if it is aspecting jupiter in the sign of capricorn that is why the debilitation of jupiter is getting cancelled okay so you need to keep that into account as well that whenever a planet is aspected by the lord of its sign the debilitation gets cancelled last is debilitated planet is in a kendra from lagna or moon now what are kendras kendras are 1 4 7 10 house so whenever a debilitated planet is in the first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house either from your ascendant or lagna or from your moon then also we say that the debilitation has been cancelled okay so these are the rules for cancellation of debilitation next what we are going to talk about is extremely interesting because that is something that can actually give you extremely good results in life and the reason i say extremely good results is because of the fact that whenever you are down and out you know you are you have totally lost hope you have nowhere else to go you know you feel like nothing is working out and that is when if you get a good result okay the value of that matters a lot and that is what happens in case of niche bhang raj yog okay so niche bhang raj yog you know i mean if you try to understand the name it basically means that something which was supposed to give you bad results actually ends up giving you very good results right and that is why it is so important because usually you know when we keep getting good results in life we do not value it that much but when you are getting bad results when nothing is working out when you see darkness all around and uh, you know you have nowhere else to go you have no hopes left and then suddenly you know it's like a miracle that happens in your life and you start getting good results suddenly everything around you changes that is what niche bhang raj yog is all about and that is why i give it a lot of importance you know because it has that potential to bring a smile on anyone's face okay so you really need to watch out for this raj yog in your kundli let us try and understand under what circumstances this raj yoga works so let us say you have a planet which is debilitated in your chart that is the first condition you need to have a debilitated planet in your chart okay then the lord of the sign in which the debilitated planet is placed if that planet is in a kendra from lagna or moon then we say that you have a niche bhang raj yog between those planets which if you did not understand it let me try and give you an example let us say jupiter is placed in the sign of capricorn so jupiter when it is placed in the sign of capricorn it is debilitated now which sign rules capricorn capricorn is ruled by saturn so now if saturn is placed in the first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house from your ascendant or from your moon sign then we will say that there is a niche bhang raj yog involving jupiter and saturn okay so a planet which was debilitated jupiter in this case and was supposed to give you bad results will on the other hand start giving you extremely and exceptionally good results believe me on that this yoga never fails it always works so that is one scenario in which we can have niche bhang raj yog similarly the second scenario is if the planet that is exalted in that sign in our previous example of jupiter being debilitated in the sign of capricorn ruled by saturn which planet is exalted in that sign the planet that is exalted in that sign is mars now let us say if mars is placed in the first first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house from ascendant or from your moon sign then also we will say that there is a niche bhang raj yog in your kundli or in your chart the third condition is the lord of the rashi in which the debilitated planet is exalted is on an angle from the lagna or the moon so you know i mean this this can be a little, little difficult to understand but let us try to understand it with an another example let's say venus is debilitated in the sign of pi uh, virgo now but venus is exalted in which sign venus is exalted in the sign of pisces so if jupiter is placed in the first house fourth house seventh house or tenth house from your ascendant or from your moon sign then we will say that there is a niche bhang raj yog involving jupiter and venus the final condition is when the lord of the planets debilitation rashi and the lord of its exaltation rashi are joined or in kendra from each other then also 
नीच भंग राजयोग हैपेंस सो लेटस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेटस से इन योर चार्ट वीनस इज डेबिलिटेटेड नाउ वीनस इज डेबिलिटेटेड इन विच राशि इट इज डेबिलिटेटेड इन द साइन ऑफ वर्गो राइट वर्गो इज रूल्ड बाई मर्किटी वीनस इज एग्जॉल्टेड इन विच राशि इट इज एग्जॉल्टेड इन द राशि पाइसिस और इन इट इज एग्जॉल्टेड इन द साइन ऑफ पाइसिस पाइसिस इज रूल्ड बाई जुपिटर नाउ लेटस से जुपिटर एंड पाइसिस आर प्लेस टूगेदर इन योर चार्ट ओके और दे आर इन केंद्रा फ्रॉम इच अदर नेक्स्ट से केंद्रा फ्रॉम इच अदर इट मीन्स इफ लेट से जुपिटर इज इन द फर्स्ट हाउस देन मर्किरी इज इन फोर प्लेसेज फ्रॉम इट सेवन प्लेसेज फ्रॉम इट और टेन प्लेसेज फ्रॉम इट सो द रिलेटिव पोजिशन बिटवीन दम इज वन फोर सेवन टेन ओके इन दैट केस ऑल्सो द डेबिलिटेशन ऑफ वीनस हैज बिन कैंसल्ड बाई जुपिटर इन मर्किरी ओके सो दैट इज हाउ यू सी वेदर इवन दो यू हैड अ डेबिलिटेटेड प्लानट बट द डेबिलिटेशन हैज बिन कैंसल्ड and on top of that because these planets which have made the cancellation happen are placed in good position in your chart that is why you are bound to give get extremely good results from an otherwise debilitated planet please 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 understand this concept because it is it is extremely important when you are looking at your own chart i am assuming that you know you have some idea about the rashis in which a particular planet is debilitated or it is exalted so if you have those ideas it is very easy to apply now before we finish i would like to add one more point here that you may have a planet which is debilitated let's say in your rashi chart or which is your, your primary birth chart but if in a particular uh, divisional chart if the same planet is exalted or it is in a very good condition like it could be in its moon trikona sign or having similar other strengths then overall your life may be stressful but for that particular area represented by the divisional chart you will get extremely good results so let's say you have jupiter which is debilitated in your rashi chart so jupiter is in the sign of capricorn in your rashi chart but in your d10 chart which is a chart of profession jupiter is exalted and it is let's say placed in the fourth house or the first house then even though overall you know you may have certain strength uh, stress in your life but as far as your profession is concerned which is which is shown by the d10 chart you will get very good results so whenever if you see a planet which is debilitated in your chart do not get alarmed do not worry about it because most likely you know you could have either a cancellation or you could have a niche bhangra yog which is amazing 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 believe me and you will actually end up getting very good results from that particular planet similarly if you see an exalted planet don't be that happy as well you know many i have seen people talk about okay so, you know uh, you need to have certain exalted planets in your chart i have seen so many charts in which there are no exalted planets and yet the person is living like a king okay so please try to understand astrology in a manner where you try to get a complete idea of the topic that you are trying to learn and then you know you will see that actually there is not a lot of things which you need to worry about and debilitation of planet is one such topic i hope you found this video useful i will try to add examples on debilitation maybe in some other video but if you found this video useful if you found that you know you learned something which you had not learned previously please like this video please subscribe to my channel and please 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 share your comments in the comment section ask your questions i will definitely try to answer as long as you ask questions about debilitation of planets let's say if you have a debilitated planet in your chart and you want to know how that planet is going to give you results please 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 put that in the comment section and i promise you that you know i will answer for sure it may take some time but i will definitely answer thank you so much for giving your time and i'll see you in the next video thank you thanks a lot